Every time I react to one of these absolutely psychotic SpongeBob conspiracy theories, I start to realize that all of my childhood joy and happiness brought about by this TV show is nothing but false hope and empty promises. These theories constantly make me question if our own reality we currently exist in is even real. So far, we've taken a deep dive into the backstories of some of our beloved Under the Sea Bikini Bottom characters such as Multiple Personalities, Patrick, Gary the Alien God, Squilliam Fraudsy Son, and Mrs. Puff the Career Criminal. The tour guide for part of our journey so far has been none other than our favorite mad scientist himself, the theorizer, and today he is back to let us know the true nature and the real details behind Bikini Bikini Bottom's very own demon, the Flying Dutchman. These theories make absolutely no damn sense, but so much damn sense at the exact same time. So, without further ado, SpongeBob, the secrets of the Flying Dutchman solve the theory. Let's see what we got. So, Gary the Snail is a fourth dimensional alien god, as oh, you'll god. remember we proved back in February. The one element Psychotic. of Bikini Bottom's quantum anomaly that I forgot to mention, though, was of course, the Flying Dutchman. This is because he needs his own video, and more specifically, both the scientific and paranormal elements of this town need their own videos as well. This green ghost is a pretty aggressive spirit that has some fairly devilish dimensional abilities, and I'm here to analyze his every appearance and- Devilish dimensional so. abilities. Nice. You guys know the drill. Go to the theorizer, give him a big old juicy spanking, his like and sub, show him some love. Dude's a maniac and a genius at the same time. Makes no sense. Hello, I'm the theorizer. Considering hey, we're man. creeping ever closer to my next Mort theory, I have to get myself oh back my into the gosh. mindset. And what better way to do that than with dimensional discussions? So, let us go through the Dutchman's appearances and solve him as we do. This is the best way to analyze his case, as more information is added as the show progresses, and perhaps his supernaturality can assist our understanding of the split-dimensional quantum entanglement of Bikini Bottom. We first hear of him in the episode Squidward the... the the split dimensional quantum entanglement of Bikini Bottom, bro. If I hadn't watched that Gary series, I would have thought you have officially completely gone out of control and you need to be in a straitjacket, bro. But that is just... Bro, it's, uh, I, I can't, as dude. As like, it makes is added it, as it's the true. Progresses, and perhaps his supernaturality can assist our understanding of the split dimensional quantum entanglement of Bikini Bottom. We first hear of him in the episode Squidward the Unfriendly Ghost, in which we learn of his folklore. Apparently, when he initially died, his body was used as a mannequin, a desecration which led to his haunting of Bikini Bottom. His body is green and translucent for some reason, aging ectoplasm. That's we... fucked up, bro. That's, 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 that's kind of fucked up, bro. Could you imagine you died and instead of them burying you in a casket six feet in the ground or incinerating you into a pile of ashes to be put in an urn, they, they imagine they just take your dead body, they preserve it like a mummy, and then they just dress it down in a Gucci belt and put it on display at Rodeo Drive, bro. I like, dude... That's kind of fucked. <laughs> First, truly meet the Flying Dutchman in the episode entitled Scaredy Pants. Mr. Krabs explains to SpongeBob more about the Dutchman, claiming that he actually arrives every Halloween to That's the Halloween episode. Out of people and trap them in his soul sack. Pretty horrific. Souls look like pickles, apparently aging ectoplasm. SpongeBob wants to be scary, so he dresses as the Dutchman only for the real Dutchman to enter and angrily proclaim that he will steal everyone's souls for such a poor imitation. He has many powers, like energy blasts, size manipulation, the usual, but he himself is scared off when he realizes SpongeBob shaped his entire skull off to appear rounder. I haven't seen this episode in years, if at all, but the fact that I called the whole thing mere seconds into the episode is probably a testament to just how knee deep in this show and adjacent shows. I already am. It's sad, honestly. The Dutchman seems to look like a genie, almost, a genie. and he is a devil deal type entity, but 
I'll keep that in mind for later. Does he? The next time we does he see grant wishes too? Still in the first season, during the episode where they find his treasure, we also see his huge ghost ship, which is seemingly a phantom like him. Yeah. In season two, he makes an appearance in the shoe tying episode, where he claims to have been a champion knot tire the for monkey. three thousand years. He ties a bunch <laughs> Classic, of knots, bro. including one of a possibly sentient monkey. He then references his ghost tail and claims he hasn't tied his shoes in five thousand years, assuming he's had no shoes since death this means he's just over 5,000 years old he teleports away again yeah but but didn't he have shoes when we seen like when he was in the you and they mummified his body made him into a mannequin he had shoes on he was he was dripped down he had the Nike on he had the forces on when he was in that store window as a mannequin so he did have shoes at some point after his death I don't know how long he was like that I don't know how long he was like that after he died but we did see that he did in fact had some kicks on when he was in the window. You see the pattern? Little reveals here and there, but now his first important appearance. It's in the little 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 Here he warps reality and can create Iconic. Loops, paradoxes, teleportations, etc. He claims his job is literally just to frighten people. Then we get one of the show's most bafflingly terrifying scenes when the Dutchman opens a rift through the fabric of space and throws Squidward into a dimension of hell containing beings of night mares and eternal despair based on what we've seen from there dude dude the craziest part about this is i've seen this episode about 900 times bro so i know exactly what he's talking about dude when i was a kid i thought absolutely nothing of this bro i just thought okay that's the powers of the flying dutchman bro but now when you sit here and you explain it like that he rips open another dimension through the fabric of time and space opens a hell dimension and throws Squidward in it plummeting through a, a, a group of endless nightmares and demons that is absolutely terrifying how would i how did i not have regular nightmares as, as a child dude this is this is psychotic. Only terrifying scenes when the Dutchman opens a rift through the fabric of space and throws Squidward into a dimension of hell containing beings of nightmares and eternal despair. Based on eternal what we've seen despair. from various other supernatural elements on this show, I can unite a few factors here. The Dolphins and Gary seem to be directly linked to Neptune, the Dutchman, possibly Atlantis, and as I said before, Patchy and the other hyperdimensional inhabitants. Funny enough, Patchy is in this episode what the hell where are we doing so the flying dutchman is connected to gary the alien god the weird brain dude from atlantis and patchy the pirate where the hell did you get that prologue and epilogue we'll get back to that i can see the i can see the patchy connection but i go atlantis we're done vetting the dutch and gary my first theory here is more of an educated Not assumption gary. based on what we know of bikini bottoms supernaturality and the powers of entities i believe the flying dutchman could be the actual devil but in terms of this show i'd be referring more to hades thing is, this show founds itself on Roman mythology, which means the Dutchman would be akin to Pluto, aka King Neptune's brother. If the Flying Dutchman- Oh my! King Neptune and the Flying Dutchman are brothers! What? What? Roman mythology, what? which means the Dutchman would be akin to Pluto, aka King Neptune's brother. If the Flying Dutchman really is a 5,000 year old god of the underworld, I want to encounter counter proof. Comment below. But back to this episode, after SpongeBob and what? Patrick fail to be scary, the Dutchman threatens to eat them like gods of the mythologies. To escape, Spongebob and Patrick run through a portal that crosses through a perfume store in the third dimension, and they get through quick enough to maintain their 2.5 dimensionality. Again, this is all stuff I covered intensely during my three-part Gary uh -huh. theory. We know in that. said Gary theories, I claimed dimensional aliens and gods are one and the same, taking various forms throughout the reality of Spongebob. The Flying Dutchman seems to be both dimensional and godlike, and he's met our criteria for being a sort of rogue entity, the first real- So the Flying Dutchman is a, is a multi-dimensional godlike being similar to Gary the Snail, and he is the relative, the brother, 
of King Neptune himself. That's what you're telling me right Where's now. One? Unlike the more implicit and theoretical Gary, the Dutchman claims his cousin taught him how to make a tasty sauce, which neither confirms nor really denies his Roman godliness. The Dutchman also shows that he imparts his dimensional abilities on objects sauce. he comes in contact with. But get a load of this. The Dutchman offers them three wishes. Tell me again, he isn't a Oh my god, you're right! So he is a genie! So he is a- so what the hell is he? Is he a genie? Is he a ghost? Is he a demon? Is he a multi-dimensional godlike being? What the hell is this dude, genie bro? Genie or devil. I can't believe I was even on the right track there, but this is everything What did you just say? Dimensional abilities on objects he comes in contact with, but get a load of this. The Dutchman offers them three wishes. Tell me again, he isn't a genie or devil. Oh I can't my gosh, bro. I was even on the right track there, but this is everything genies and demons stand for in mythology. For their first wish, the Dutchman clicks time backwards ever so slightly. Squidward has entered the flying spaghetti circle of hell, and SpongeBob wishes him out. With one more wish to go, SpongeBob wishes the Dutchman into a vegetarian. He then pulls the same trick all genies pull and abuses the wording, turning SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward into fruits. He then teleports them into a nebulous void and tries blending them into a smoothie. I'm getting some answers. Oh my Ever since god! Gary, Gary, really this is psychotic! This is so easy! Why he just wants you to live a happy and healthy green lifestyle eating vegetables and fruits and fucking shit like that. And 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 and, and we quinoa bowls. But instead you turn them into fruits and put them into a blender! Literally a homicidal maniac! Anything that has ties to the supernatural in this show ties back to the quantum physics and theoretical notions of scientific gods. So, let's move forward and try confirming some things. He reappears in the season 3 episode Born Again Crabs, in which Crabs tries selling a disgusting patty, eats it himself, and comes extremely close to death, during which the Flying Dutchman plays the role of Grim Reaper by threatening Davy to Jones crabs locker. in Davy Jones' locker. Apparently, it's sort of like the bottom of the hyperdimensional depths of Tartarus and Hell, and it's a literal locker, the locker of Davy Jones, who should be the flying Dutchman himself, but is apparently not. When Krabs fails to maintain generosity, the Dutchman comes back and Krabs sells SpongeBob's soul for 62 cents. The Dutchman hates Damn. SpongeBob though, and thus he drops the whole thing. In the next episode, Ghost Host, SpongeBob we get more cheap. proof that the Dutchman can be solid as opposed to- So if his soul is worth 62 cents, how much you think SpongeBob's OnlyFans would be worth? I'm thinking like three bucks. When Krabs Some fails cheap, to maybe like a dollar fifty. The Dutchman comes back and Krabs sells SpongeBob's soul for 62 cents. The Dutchman hates SpongeBob though, and thus he drops the whole thing. In the next episode, Ghost Host, we get more proof that the Dutchman can be solid as opposed to incorporeal or immaterial, at least by his own will. In this episode, his ship breaks up and crashes. He stays at SpongeBob's house, and now we're on the opposite end of some previously established proof. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! The Flying Dutchman and Gary in the same room, interacting with each other. We know Gary's a god. This dude, the Flying Dutchman, is supposedly a when two gods collide. SpongeBob is here witnessing history, and he doesn't even know it yet. That's crazy. Next episode, Ghost. That's Ghost, crazy. We get more proof that the Dutchman can be solid as opposed to incorporeal or immaterial, at least by his own will. In this episode, his ship breaks up and crashes. He stays at SpongeBob's house, and now we're on the opposite end of some previously established proof. You see, in Gary's theories, we used this scene to establish his teleportation. In this context, though, it proves another point. Gary, who is an alien god, doesn't really react to the Dutchman. This is because they are similar entities, and the Dutchman cannot kill Gary, hence eating him as a joke and knowing it would do nothing. The Dutchman mm. shows off more powers of reality alteration, and SpongeBob is desensitized to the Dutchman's scares, no matter how high the animation budget climbs. The Dutchman tries scaring other people and shows off a skeleton from inside his body, which is almost certainly not his. His scaring fails yet more, so he has a midlife crisis and parties in SpongeBob house for six months with his ghost friends while he somehow gains weight and deteriorates? It's implied he's married, too. Then Spongebob he's shows him a motivational video to unleash his spiritual powers.
power within, and oh my god, the animation budget. His next appearance is in Money Talks, where he's summoned when Krabs uses the phrase, I would give anything. Turns out he'd give anything to have money be sentient, including his own soul. The Dutchman whips out a contract like the quasi-genie he is, and Krabs implies that he sold his soul to many supernatural entities before. I'm not sure if this is clever or extremely stupid of him, but something like that would probably cause- Bro! That is a very dumb idea because he claims he sold his soul to many other demons in the past and look at him, he, st he still ain't rolling in the dough, bro. He's still not a multi-million dollar under the sea Elon Musk, bro. Look at that, Mr. Crab. You sold your soul many times and you still broke as hell. Imagine that. His spiritual power Couldn't be me. And oh my god, the animation budget. His next appearance is in Money Talks, where he's summoned when Krabs uses the phrase, I would give anything. Turns out he'd give anything to have money be sentient, including his own soul. The Dutchman whips out a contract like the quasi-genie he is, and Krabs implies that he sold his soul to many supernatural entities before. I'm not sure if this is clever or extremely stupid of him, but something like that would probably cause problems. His wish yeah. is granted and the money has apparently been aware of everything up until this point and now it can talk to him. An old woman sees Krabs kissing his money and she pulls the hole. Get a man who looks at you the way Krabs looks at money. Meme. Spongebob can't hear the money talking and apparently now he's the authority on sanity. He thinks Krabs is nuts. The Dutchman comes back later for his soul but yep called it. In come the other spirits. Yep. They wait in a lineup for Krabs's soul. I don't even know anymore. In the big one episode, Krabs gets stranded past Goo Lagoon in the Dutchman's Triangle, which is apparently above Davy Jones' locker. He literally runs into the Dutchman who furiously threatens him and claims to have dated Krabs' aunt in high school. This is one whack timeline. Dated? I'm not wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Wait, now we're getting into the Saint to Samori show type of stuff. Yeah, it did. Now, the Flying Dutchman dated Mr. Krabs' aunt in high school. You're telling me, you're telling me the Flying Dutchman was clapping crabby cheeks? Oh my god, bro, that's like an episode Krabs of Jerry so Springer. Old. I don't even know anymore. In the big <laughs> one episode, Krabs gets stranded past Goo Lagoon in the Dutchman's Triangle, which is apparently above Davy Jones' locker. He literally runs into the Dutchman who furiously threatens him and claims to have dated Krabs' aunt in high school. This is one whack timeline. I'm not gonna try and solve it yet. Somehow Krabs wins their little brawl and the Dutchman plunges into the sub-ocean ocean and lands on the seafloor where we find the act- So then wait! Speaking of timeline, wait, if the Dutchman is 5,000 years old, dead, how could he have dated the crab, Mrs. Krabs is on in high school? Are you telling me Mr. Krabs is like thousands of years old and his aunt is like thousands of years old and it, it Krabs live for thousands of years or some shit? Because I feel like the Flying Dutchman would have to be alive from the date Mrs. Mr. Krabs is on, you know what I mean? So 5,000 years ago, his aunt was alive. And if I'm correct, right, genetically, people, you, you know what I'm saying? If it doesn't take 5,000 years to spawn a nephew. So, like, what's the deal with that? Jewel Davy Jones with his locker, who begins torturing the Dutchman. So, the question must be asked, what's the org chart of Spongebob hell? Oh, the places I go. Davy Jones is three-dimensional in his base form and is seemingly aware of the other dimensions in quantum anomalies such as Bikini Bottom. Unlike the vast majority of the surface world, the hierarchy of hell seems to place him above the likes of the Flying Dutchman, which is peculiar. So is there a grand torturer for every dimension's hell, each one ranking higher than the last? In the curse of Bikini Bottom, we see the Dutchman in its native habitat. Hell, with his closet being Davy Jones' coffin. Not only that, but we see a two-dimensional skeleton inside of it, meaning Davy Jones is 2D now. The Dutchman's going on a blind date, his first in 400 years. He plans to wear the coat he was buried in, which has been ghostified. He also shows to have senses such as smell and puts into question what sort of dimensional state he's really in. Then, debris falls on him and dirties his clothing. So he's solid. Then he phases through the ground to see who knocked the debris onto him, meaning he's immaterial. But the debris is still seen on him when he pops out through the other side of the ground, so he's simultaneously material? If his incorporeity is all according- I don't- my brain hurts! He is solid, but he's also not solid, but he is also solid and not solid at the same time. So if you think he's solid, he's not solid, but if you don't think he's solid, he also is solid. Dude, 
My brain cannot handle this kind of madness. Smell and puts into question what sort of dimensional state he's really in. Then debris falls on him and dirties his clothing. So he's solid. Then he phases through the ground to see who knocked the debris onto him, meaning he's immaterial. But the debris is still seen on him when he pops out through the other side of the ground. So he's simultaneously material? If his incorporeity is all according to his mental intentions, then why wouldn't he phase this stray matter off of himself and then prevent exactly. the next problem, which is being suddenly ran down by a lawnmower? He says he hates youth, and he's infuriated when it will take a thousand years he to grow back his beard youth. after Spongebob and Patrick shave it down. They then literally use the word ghostified. This show is beginning to predict me. By the way, they get the green, they get the tails, and Patrick even comments on how they look like mermaids. Like... King Neptune. Hmm. We get the go- Oh my gosh, you're right! Oh my gosh, you're right! They are related. Oh my gosh, they are related, bro. The Flying Dutchman can tie knots, and King Neptune makes terrible Krabby Patties. Oh my goodness. Ghost dynamics through SpongeBob's eyes, ectoplasm dynamics, and things about how apparently you can- ghostify objects if you conceptually murder them, and he snaps his spatula for example. The Dutchman's beard comes back. In only a few months though, and to his horror, the blind date ends up being a spiritually vacant titanic eldritch monster. We've seen it before, but again, in the episode Ghoul Fools, we see that supernatural auras can change the time of day. In this episode, a haunted houseboat arrives and displays ghosts that are not green and do not have tails. They function differently, but claim to enjoy enslaving souls just like the Dutchman. They need enslaving souls! Steal the characters' souls until they can help them. Once they do, Patrick's soul shatters on the ground and he licks it up, or so we think. Turns out, these ghosts don't take souls, meaning, again, they are not like the Dutchman. They can, however, open a portal to a limbo of self-torment, which one of them does to some of the characters. Patrick, as expected, the is too changeable demon. to be able to suffer self-torment, and he ends up torturing the very system itself. The other thing to note is that Mr. Krabs slams into a ghostly chest of money and it cranks his face into the third dimension temporarily. Turns out these guys were the mutinous ex-crew of the Flying Dutchman from 300 years ago. The Dutchman then tracks them- Wait! Wait, these were his- these were his boys? These were his homeboys? Notice that Mr. Krabs slams into a ghostly chest of money and it cranks his face into the third dimension temporarily. Turns out these guys were the mutinous ex-crew of the Flying Dutchman. So the- so the Flying Dutchman, his homeboys turn into his ops, and they're just roaming around Bikini Bottom in his ghost ship, tormenting and become and being menaces to society, just raising chaos and havoc. Nice, dude. From 300 nice. Ago, uh, bro, my track. man flying them, bro, my man flying Dutchman was putting them, I know he was putting them in a pack when they first died, dude. Down, he was celebrating. He transforms himself into a nuclear bomb and blows up Bikini Bottom. This is a direct reference to how Bikini Bottom exists presently. Bikini Atoll testing. It transcends Bikini Bottom into limbo, which I'm gathering is a pocket negative or non-dimensional plane. The Dutchman proves to be running it, which means it's his domain, and yes, that is likely the experience of Davy Jones' locker from those on the inside. The question I'm still asking is, of course, Davy's role in all of this, but as the devil of the third dimension, it's probably his right to shift dimensionality and torment all denizens beneath him as well. In The Legend of Bukini Bottom, we bear witness to Bikini Bottom having been transformed into what seems to be a 4D claymation on Halloween night. The physics are broken and messed with, we see trippy 3D human hands, and it's definitely all off. SpongeBob's having a great time, so the Dutchman arrives I to terrify seen this. Him. He shows off more of his genie magic and then takes them on a haunted ghost ship tour, where they encounter some literal 4D ghost puppets. Literal 4D ghost puppets. How far have I fallen and how exactly have I internalized this as- Dude, normal? this whole multi-dimensional thing is absolutely psychotic, bro. Like, what? Like, there's like, we got 2D, 2.5D, 3D, 4D, 5D, 6D. How many Ds are we going up to, bro? I can't handle all this. I can't handle this many Ds at one time, dude. I, I can't. I cannot handle this this, this amount of Ds at, at, at the same time. Genie magic and then takes them on a haunted ghost ship tour where they encounter some literal 4D ghost puppets. Literal 4D ghost puppets. How far have I fallen and how exactly have I internalized this as normal? We see a couple of 2D things in this episode and the sorts of physics-breaking hell we bear witness to is quite reminiscent of Squidward's clarinet dream. 
Could the Dutchman have taken part in that ninth dimensional fever dream as well? The Dutchman emits some- Ninth dimension. Now there's 9D! Dude, I cannot handle 9D simultaneously! Yes, and reaps everyone's souls just to spook Spongebob. This episode mixed with my analysis, and the fact that I was watching it at two times speed with a three second audio delay has instilled me with the really bad but temporary derealization I am prone to. I noticed that he does also reap Gary's soul, and Gary seems concerned. I think I know why. Everyone is 4D here. Gary's body is now on equal playing ground with his essence, and this is why his abilities are neutralized for the time being. The Dutchman shows people some 3D horror footage. The oh, Dutchman's so Gary in this dimension isn't as powerful as he's supposed to be. His, his powers are neutralized in this dimension. Okay. Everyone's 4D here. Gary's body is now on equal playing ground with his essence, and this is why his abilities are neutralized for the time being. The Dutchman shows people some 3D horror footage. The Dutchman turns Plankton into a brainwashed slave, partially possessed by his soul. The Dutchman enters Spun- He turns Plankton into a brainwashed slave, possessed by his soul. Dude, this is psychotic. This is, this is absolutely psychotic. Brain ...and finds a true 2D world, something akin to Doodle Bob. He endures SpongeBob's happy, goofy internal world and is tortured by the flatland around him. It horrifies him and he flees. SpongeBob is the focal point of his world. He owns everyone inside of it. In the episode shopping list, SpongeBob goes out to buy secret ingredients. What? Do they reveal them in this episode? I guess. Anyways, one of them is ghost dandruff. I'm starting to realize why they Ew. don't reveal the ingredient. It's probably some high-octane, unapproved hell. Apparently they make shampoo for ghosts also. Turns out they were just fake ingredients. He also makes a cameo in another season 11 episode. Fake, in fake ingredients! Why am I not surprised if you watched my the, my, my reaction to the theory of the, of the Krabby Patty formula? Yeah, I'm not surprised that it was a fake list, yeah. No, I'm not shocked at all. Make shampoo for ghosts also. Turns out they were just fake ingredients. He also makes a cameo in another season 11 episode, but he's just standing there for a split second. In his final appearance to date, season 12's The Ghost of Plankton, Karen unplugs herself, sort of dark, then Plankton literally flattens himself to death. Okay, even more oh dark. My he becomes God. a ghost to steal the formula. This episode is integral. The Dutchman shows up and reveals Solidity is controlled with spiritual experience, as I thought. It would seem you gain control over the universe the longer you're a ghost. He teaches him shape-shifting, scaring with face alteration, object possession, and finally, Solidity. It's all about anger and emotion, which is a ghost trope indeed. This episode, and the show in general of late, has a fixation with vivisection, as what in the, the characters hell is that? their skin off, or their skin Skeletons will jump out or their nervous system. Oh it's my weird. god! It's fast-paced and gross in general. They're trying out new character dynamics, but all of them feel the same and it's desperate. Budget abuse. Makes for good thumbnails, though. Plankton obviously then can't get the solid formula through the solid safe, so he goes back home. He finds everyone mourning him. Must have been days. He says it's the worst of his many funerals he's seen. Hmm. Obviously the Dutchman goes to possess Plankton. The worst of his many funerals! What does that mean? What is as his plankton just died many times and just spawned back like a Call of Duty character just just respawn after you die? What do you mean his many funerals? What you mean by that? Budget abuse. Makes for good thumbnails though. Plankton obviously then can't get the solid formula through the solid safe, so he goes back home. He finds everyone mourning him. Must have been days. He says it's the worst of his many funerals he's seen. Hmm. Obviously the Dutchman hmm. goes to possess Plankton's body first, but he flees when he learns people want to kill him. I was also casually watching other episodes, and in one of them Squidward screams on an intercom, Run, robots have taken over the world, and nobody moves. Then he says, Our world and everyone freaks out and runs away. It's like everybody but us, the viewers, know that this is a fictional 2.5D quasi-atomic flatland. The dimensional shifters of Bikini Bottom are all tied, and I'll solve it some other day now that we have the- So the people of Bikini Bottom are aware that they are in- They are in another dimension, and there are multiple worlds in the, within the layers of the dimensions. That's what you're- Dude, this is just, this is, we, I came in here as, as a flying, I was about to learn about the flying Dutchman, why he got pigtails, but instead we are the big people of Bikini Bottom are aware of their multi-dimensional place, and of the flying Dutch, dude, this is... I was also casually watching other episodes, and one of them Squidward screams on an intercom, run, robots have taken over the world, and nobody moves. 
Then he says, our world, and everyone freaks out and runs away. It's like everybody but us, the viewers, know that this is a fictional 2.5D quasi-atomic flatland. The dimensional shifters of Bikini Bottom are all tied, and I'll solve it some other day now that we have the paranormal side of things down. It's all got to do with the atomic testing, the quantum entanglement, the interdimensionality of various animation styles, so on and so forth. It's possible that Bikini Bottom itself is Davy Jones' locker for the third dimension, hell. Neptune, Pluto, etc. Now you're saying all of Bikini Bottom is Davy Jones' locker. I can't do this. I can't do this. Our hell run by Davy himself. So, this turned out to be more Gary Part 3.5 than I was expecting. Yeah. But honestly, when dimensions get involved, things get real grand unifying. Up oh, here. they I get mean, real how else weird am I too. To for the next batch of Mort videos, the next in a series of analysis will either be another character diagnosis or the Neptune side of this dimension theory, because my conclusions on the hierarchy of SpongeBob Hills are crucial to all of this. The Dutchman is likely Pluto, dead or not. A sort of banished troublemaker, the genie of legend, but nothing more than a bootleg mermaid. He's a genie or a dead alien mermaid Roman god, but my long-winded diagnosis is irrelevant here. I can only make it more boring than it actually is, but I'm fully prepared now for Mort. See you soon. Until next theorizer, I'm the time. Okay. Okay. So the Flying Dutchman, we don't even know what the Flying Dutchman is. That's the craziest part about this, is we still know he, he could be a genie. He could he could not even be dead. He, he, could, he could have been banished. He could have been a troublemaker banished. Like Gary, right? Gary is an alien god. He was plotting against the dolphins, so they banished him to Bikini Bottom. Could be in the same boat. He could be dead and he could be a ghost of the, 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 the god of hell or whatever. He could be Neptune's brother. He could be an almighty alien multidimensional god, dude. We don't know, bro. But all I know is, is this got even more wild, crazy, and confusing than when we first started, bro. I thought that I thought Gary was it, bro. I thought I thought Gary was gonna be as wild and crazy as we get, bro. Is the multi dimensions and the gods and the three D and the two D and the nine D, so many Ds. But no, but. No, there is, it's all connected. The Flying Dutchman is related to Neptune and is somehow connected to Gary and is, is, is Davy Jones, who's the, who runs our hell in the three D. This is, I can't do this. I cannot wrap my brain around this whatsoever. I still don't know what the hell this dude, the Flying Dutchman is, and I still don't know what the hell is going on, bro. I can't, I can't do this. I can't do this, bro. All this talk of, of multi-dimensional things. Are we in them? Can I travel multi-dimensionally, bro? This is, this is, this is crazy, bro. The whole Neptune thing blew my mind. He's an alien god. Blew my mind, bro. This is, this is, none of this, none of this makes any sense. But it still somehow makes sense. Like it, it, it makes no sense. But it makes sense. So that situation makes no sense does that make any sense i don't know i started confusing myself at this point bro but bro this dude the theorizer is on a whole other level dude because oh my gosh was this one crazy